How to get started with Trust Plus RT Part 6 Generation of Trusses with Trust System Grid This part is useful for structural engineers, architects, modelers, BIM managers. This part will explain how to generate a complete trust system using Trust System Grid workflow. You will need Autodesk Revit 2013 or 2014 with Trust Plus RT installed, project with Trust Plus RT families loaded, and needed types created. Trust design settings set and trust system grid generated. How to do that? See part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 and part 5 of this tutorial. In this part we'll learn some time-saving functions of trust plus RT. For example, to finish off this part of the roof we can use the automatic function of trust plus rt which is under trust systems menu and we have auto copy one or two trusses let's press that and the information that is in the roof and in our trust system grid is then parsed and and these trusses are inserted automatically we can see that trusses were inserted correctly and there are two plies of girder trusses in this part of the roof. Let's create gable end trusses. For that we'll need gable end truss system grid. Let's go to truss systems, insert truss system grid, pick the roof and pick the corresponding lines, which is automatically drawn by Trust Plus RT. For gable ends and slope roof line, pick the line parallel to gable end. Then pick the left line and then pick the right line over here. For valley slope, pick the green line over here and let's press OK trust system grid type let's press OK our trust system grid were inserted then let's rotate the model to the other side and do the same steps again now we can generate gable and trusses. Select the truss system grid, then go to truss systems menu, press generate trusses, and select the corresponding trusses for this systems. For gable and trusses, I will use gable truss common and gambrel drop top truss type, then press OK. Let's do the same with the other end of our roof. Select Truss System Grid, go to Truss Systems, Generate Trusses. It remembers the configuration we've used before and let's press OK. The trusses of this part of the roof were created. Then we need to fill the main part of our roof. And for that we'll select the truss, the common truss on the right and common truss on the left. Then go to truss systems or to trusses. And we have function autocopy two trusses in both of them. Let's press it. 
and it suggests the spacing of the trusses to be copied and the leftover space position. We can do that on the one side, on the both sides or in the middle. Let's go with in the middle option and let's press OK. The trusses were successfully copied and that almost completes our, our roof truss system. Then we can use another function for framing our, our rafters. Let's select two beams, go to trusses and frame two beams. Let's select the beam type we want to use. The framing member name, the spacing and justification. It's OK for me and let's press OK. Let's do the same to all of the rafters. And that completes our truss design of this house. That's the end of this part. AJ CAD, Lean Thinking Company.